Y'all, this is super cool. We had to pull over. We were on the way to the farm store. And we saw all these baby turkeys. Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Sue. We are here in gardening zone 6B in New England. It just finished hailing here. Um, that's how the universe tells you stop shooting footage and sit down and edit. So that's what I've been doing today. What I've got for you is the dog days, July and most of August. And it was, for a lot of that, a total scorcher. Megan and I took a whole week and called it a questing week. And we got all of our adult stuff and all the stuff that we had been avoiding done. Yay! As always, there are cool bugs. There are fresh fruits, including figs, including figs. Um, and lots and lots of garden tours. Come on along. It is the 23rd of July, and we've got some beautiful Hungarian wax peppers. And the first eggplant is happening. Megan, do you know what I found in my kitchen Wow. Okay, Raina, mm-hmm. What's in this cabinet? I have no idea. Do you ever need anything from this cabinet? No, no. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, it's so empty. I, I, we should put some stuff in there. I and then only I, just discovered this I today. never thought to say something. How long have we lived in this house? You wanna know when I knew that cabinet existed? Mm -hmm. uh, about three hours ago. <laughs> Guess who else had no idea? Well, uh-huh, and? No. Uh-huh. Yeah. I think that this is a space that has been formerly hidden by the Fae. Hmm. And we've pleased them enough that now they've uncovered it. Compost squash and potatoes have really taken off over here. Still no idea what kind of squash the compost squash is. We lost an oak tree in the storm. She fell in, luckily fell on nothing important. We gotta get this thing moved. It's gonna require some chainsaws. Thank you. Y'all take a look at these peppers coming in. I found a tag and it says they are Carmen sweet peppers. We got a couple of zucchinis before the vine borers moved in and killed them. We are not getting cucumbers this year. Oh, I'm sorry. We got a cucumber. Look at this. Thank you, buddy. Hello, eggplant. And then we've got some beautiful shishitos coming in. They're not quite ready yet. When peppers are ready, they'll let you pick them. Like, it'll just snap off. But this is not doing that. Last week of July. Lip has really kitted out the goats this week. Um, he put in those tires. He found another metal spool. They love their spools. Come on. Come on. Drummer. Drummer historically has loved a slide. Like, the minute we put up that little red and blue slide, it was decidedly hers. Where Piper is queen of the herd, Drummer is queen of the mountain. If there is a tall thing to play on, she is radiant. Come here, girlfriend. Drummer. Come here. <laughs> Not ready yet? Okay. It's there when you want it. You all, you all, I have figs. I have three figs. I have three, three figs. Three ripe figs. O-M-G. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. 
That one's so ripe, I scuffed it up. Look at that beauty. I just split it open. Dude, this is the first time I've grown figs that I can eat. Hey, hey. Yeah. Delicious. Yeah. That's out of our potted fig. I can't believe it. Mm. Oh, I'm good. Yeah. Oh, Shito's are ready. I bet there's bugs inside. Now we'll soak it out and see. Super excited about this eggplant. Beautiful flowers. Aren't those gorgeous? They're bee balm. Oh. Shall we go through the potato bags? Yeah. yeah. So we came out here to see what was going on and the potatoes looked done, so we tipped them out. Don't tell Kate. Mm. It should be the blues. Okay. I think I planted two Adirondack blues. Nice. Oh, oh, here we go. We did pretty good. We did all right. Uh, we had a lot of potatoes that are half eaten by something already. Um, so I'm just leaving them there. Really, it'll be next year's potatoes. Hey, beautiful. Thank you. These are the volunteer that came up. Thank you. Sweet like candy. Underneath these towels, in the dark, are potatoes. Right now it's Anton's shift, but they've pretty much been hot bunking it all morning. Will you hatch us some potato? Sizes. What do you got here? Mom came in carrying a... It's our <laughs> harvest. This is all you. <laughs> Hold it up and smile. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> well done. And we done. got little ones too. Yeah. So you want me to make... Um, Pickles. Sweet and, sweet and hot? Yes. All right, cool. We will do that this week. Excellent. This is poke. We don't eat this. It's just beautiful going to be feeding the birds all autumn long. I think I've got ever-bearing berries because they're just getting ready to flower now. It is August 5th. Come have a look. This may or may not be Hubbard squash. I put a lot of leftover plants in this corner, including some strawberries after the garlic was here. So that's what that's about. And Raina's got a little patch of sunflowers coming up. Look at these, so pretty. This patch is pretty much done. Previously on Battlestar Galactica. We are currently enjoying the, uh, the bolted kale and broccoli. These tomatoes are big. Um, they should start to ripen up by the end of the month. <sighs> Something lovely to look forward to. Hello, friend. So I put in two of these golden and raspberries. Thank you, Aurora. Um, and I only killed one. I've got four pots of lavender that I'm hoping to put in before I forget about them and they freeze in the pots. These are the tomatoes, y'all. Again, I just let them sprawl. I didn't have the bandwidth to do a whole lot other than that. We talked about trellising, but we never actually got there. Look at this guy. This little guy with his pollen bloomers. The peppers are really coming into their own now. Oh, you see that guy forming? Right there. See that tiny pepper happening? Lots of blossoms. It's been hot. Peppers like it hot. And the tomatillos have come back to life. First egg plant of the season. The basil's going to seed, and at this point, I'll prune some this week that isn't going to seed, but this stuff, I'm just going to let it go to seed. My lemon balm is doing great. This chard came around for a second run. I, I don't know if it's reseeded after bolting or if just it was rejuvenated by the rain and the cooler temps this week, but um, we're going to eat some of this. I'm just going to get in here with the clipper come down and pick the stuff that looks the nicest um, in terms of the stalk. There's a little bug damage here, but that's okay. 
We'll clean it up, make sure there are no actual bugs. I don't think I've ever grown chard that looked this robust. Again, this is my first year growing in full sun. Y'all know this game, right? You remember this game? What the heck did I put here? Well, still don't know. A couple of pea plants made it. Handful of them. Basically, this whole place could use a bit of a weed. Look at these. I think... Alright, so I know I planted Kajaris in here someplace, but I don't think it was this tank. I believe that these are musk melon starts that I got from the co-op. Thank you. I found the Kajari melons. <laughs> these are little. Just doing good climbing up. Still got leaks. Look what I just found. A couple of musk melons. This is Anna's Hissa. And the bees are just so happy to play in it. I also like the wild bergamot or bee balm, which is nearly spent. That My oregano has gone to blossom, so I'm just going to let it reseed itself. If it's a tomato, I didn't plant it. Bill told me that when he mowed through here, he kind of like put his arm out and, and grabbed a stem of tomatoes. Oh, I know what these are. These are patty pan. Mom already harvested one. Previously on Battlestar Galactica. Show off Galactica. your patty pan squash, mother. You grew that. I grew it that. Well done, mother. <laughs> we'll see if there's another one in there. <laughs> yeah, I know there were some that were yellow in there. Yeah, all, a whole bunch of them are yellow and they're small. But this thing got out of hand. <laughs> you got very excited to be here. I know. I think there's another one in Stick there. Stick it too. in the window. Yeah. Did you see? So this is me greeting my desk this morning. Welcome to my task list. These are beautiful. I think I'm gonna, I think we're gonna do some hooching. We had a good rain last night again. Anna, everything's looking really jungly and good. Come take a peek. We are definitely a proper tomato tangle at this point in. I have no idea what's going on here. Um, this eggplant is making white fruits. I've never seen that before. Maybe they turn purple? The, uh, the tag on it says purple fruits. So we'll see what happens. Bill's out here doing some clearing. Found some wild elderberry bushes growing up. How many do you think you saw? At least four along the stream. I think we'll find a few more. Yeah, Mike thought that was elderberry last week and he thought it was funny that we had wild elderberry next to the elderberry grove. I think we've got nine or 10, nine. We have nine elderberries planted in here. So I want to finish the rest of this turn today. Okay. And I think we should be in good shape. Godspeed. This is amazing. This looks so nice. So it is the 13th of August, 2024. So Megan and I have, while avoiding the places that are working for us, taken everything else out of cabinets, drawers, all that business. We are, we are definitely an ingredients household. 
from the look of this. And apparently I have things that I don't want to run out of, like lentils and chili peppers. And I guess I was really worried about rice noodles at some point. I'm, uh, uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. I'm just here to give you permission to throw things away. I appreciate that Anytime, so much. Anytime, sister. So it is revamp day. Pray for us. Welcome back to the murder room. 100% this has been the catch-all room. So to see this tidied up is is awesome. Cora did a lot of this on her own. And then Megan and I came in and we reorganized this wall. So this is where we're gonna keep duplicate pantry items and whatnot. This room stays cooler than the rest of the house. This year's garlic. The last of the potatoes. Of course, these are not the ones that we let the cats hatch. Now I can see the spices I have and hopefully we'll do less of buying duplicates. What I really need to do is come down here and do a paper inventory that lives upstairs so that every time we bring something up there, I can just scratch it off the list. These are the sweet hots that we made out of Cora's cucumbers. This is Megan. You remember me from last house. And, um, and, and now with sweet potatoes. I'm gonna go get you a paper towel. <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh, I saved it. I didn't spit out the coffee. I am so proud of you. <laughs> wow. That went down the wrong pipe, but I got it back up and it went back down and I did it. Yay! Yay! Quest week. Quest week. We're stronger than we think. I'm gonna go grab the paper towel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying. <coughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh yes, baby. So we did. We did this thing. <laughs> Don't drink the coffee. It's oh dangerous. man, it just went like flying oh. up in my face. Oh look, we've got this. <laughs> it's about a week. It's been a really cool week. It has. Um, I thought Cade was going to football camp this week. Cade is actually at math camp. Math camp. He got selected. And so you had the whole week near here, so it made more sense to be here. We both arrived with these giant lists. <laughs> these we'll get there. Giant <laughs> lists. And we have, <coughs> over the course of three days. Today's so number four. Yep. Today's the fourth day. We have knocked them <clears throat> down. You and the phone tree. Oh, that was wonderful. You did what, four of them end to end for you and Kate? Kate yeah. That was pretty awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Quest week, 10 out of 10 stars. Highly recommend. Yeah. Do it with a buddy. Absolutely. It, uh, it makes it go better, faster, stronger. Ooh. We kicked it in the pants. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. Hello, Ms. Pipes. For reference, these sunflowers are taller than me. Raina started these from seed. There's a little bit of fungus, so I'll do some pruning on that tonight. All this brand new growth. I think what I want to do is set up a place where I can put grow lights for this little figgy, <laughs> this little figgy, um, over the winter time. So stay tuned. There will be developments. Just about time to harvest some lemongrass. Yep. I don't want to talk about it. I was really inspired this year by how much luck mom had with the boxes downstairs. Come see what I did. This is something I have never done before and I'm super stoked at how it's going already. So I've got lettuces over here and then I had extra dirt. So I put joy choy in the front and some variety of Chinese cabbage in the back. 
MVP best comeback all season. We've already brought in a whole bunch of patty pan, but there are so many more ripening up. Let me show you this. This straw bale completely collapsed. And I wonder if there was an event. Another reason why I should have trellised. But uh, yeah, we're kinda, we're kinda past that moment now. It's still alive. Ooh, look, look, look. She's starting to blush. This tomato. Okay. Oh. Dude, check this out. I went to pick it up and oh my goodness. We can afford to be really good sharers. Oh, here though. Come in with me, buddy. This is the bale that I keep seeing blossom end rot in. I'm just gonna pull that so it doesn't waste energy. This is what those little musk melons look like now. They're still small. They're like, I'd say the size of a softball. They feel heavy and not hollow, so I'm gonna leave them. The tendril is not dried up yet, so we'll check in with you later. Got another one. It's just starting to get rough on the outside. <gasps> look, 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 we've got more kajaris on this side of it. Oh my gosh. These tomatoes are still going. White fruiting eggplant is not getting any bigger. Um, and it is starting to look like it might be suffering a little bit out here. I think tomorrow, I think this evening I'll come in and clip that. Did you tell me, husband, that Princess is getting away? Yes. Princess Almost is... to the ground. Let's fix that. Little sister. Oh my goodness. Look at you. All right, that's it. I'm definitely gonna have to set up some grow lights over the winter time. What'd you say? Oh, hi, tiny friend. Hey, buddy. What am I looking at, husband? The start of the foundation for the greenhouse. Oh my goodness, everybody is super excited about that. Construction starts this week, huh? Construction starts either tomorrow or Tuesday. This is exciting. I'm very excited to knock this off the to-do list. One brick at a time. One brick at a time. It looks so nice. Thank you so much for hanging out with us over the dog days of this summer, our first planting year at the new property. I will catch you up soon. Today I am deeply grateful for people who remind me to eat. My friends save my life every day. And uh, sometimes it's fast food fries. And I have people in my life who will help me move things. Heavy things. I am privileged to run with honorable and kind men. I have friends with whom I clean out the refrigerator we ward that stuff up and call it a shame-free zone. What you got there? Oh, you just sweat like on me I'm from sorry. all the way over there. Yeah, it's amazing.